let's solve this differential equation. Okay, in order to solve this differential equation, I'm gonna let y equal x times v. So for dy over dx, I'm gonna have to use a product rule, take the derivative of x times v. First take the derivative of v, that's dv over dx times x, and then take the derivative of x is one, multiply it by v. Now I'm going to take dy over dx and replace it over here. So dy over dx becomes x dv over dx plus v. And on the right, I'm going to replace y with xv. Now, keep in mind, this xv is multiplying both ln of xv, uh, negative ln of x, and actually plus 1 as well. So I can cancel out the x here, and I'm going to have v times these three terms. Now, v is going to multiply 1, and that's just going to be v, and that cancels out with this v. Okay, next, I can break up ln of x v as ln of x plus ln of v. So this was one of the log properties. The ln of x is going to cancel. I have x times dv over dx equals v times ln of v. And now I have a separable differential equation. Bring the v's on one side and bring the x's on the other. I have dv over v times ln of v is equal to 1 over x dx. Integrate both sides. And in order to integrate the left side, I have to use a u substitution. So u will be ln of v. So then du is 1 over v. So then it's just basically du over u. And then integrated, you get ln of u, where u is ln of v. Okay, so you have ln of ln of v on the left side is equal to ln of x plus c. I want to get v by itself, so I have to undo the natural log. So I'm going to raise, I'm actually going to have e to both sides. So it's like e to the ln of ln of v is equal to e to ln of x plus c. So I have ln of v equals to e to ln of x plus c. And at this point, I can break up e to the ln of x plus c as e to the ln of x times e to the c. And e to the ln of x is just x. Okay, and then e to the c is some constant. So I just called it c here. Okay, so again here we do e to both sides. We have v is equal to e to the cx. And then we do a substitution. We had let v equal y over x, or rather, xv is equal to y. So that means v is equal to y over x. Multiply both sides by x to get that y is equal to x times e to the cx. Okay. 